was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. Thank you guys very much for tuning in here on a Friday. If you guys have not yet, of course, smash that like button, press subscribe, help support the channel. But let's get into a few different stories here, guys. I think that we're going to want to hear what I have to say. I mean, if, if you didn't, why would you be here, right? So first things first, guys, the SEC. The SEC, we have this ongoing relationship where I keep giving you guys, giving you guys, giving you guys, and y'all ain't giving it back. I like to call the SEC uh, 68. 68 is when you give somebody something they owe you one. Let that one settle in for a second. I actually took time to come up with a joke for that one. So if you guys like that joke, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, so the SEC right now, guys, has been on some sort of bullshit this morning okay this was yesterday came from my guy boss blunts that posted this photo here of the sec continuing to try to make sure that retail investors have to go out there and, and make sure they do the right research now listen i actually believe they actually think that people that are retail investors just simply do not get the knowledge from other sources before jumping into stocks now there is a certain aspect of people that do fomo in there is a certain aspect of people that don't do research that's true but to categorize 33 percent of the market as one to paint a broad brush is idiotic and i'm shocked that the sec did it now the sec as you guys know has had a crazy week putting out videos insulting those who actually need their protection the most i'm actually i'm smiling right now but i'm pretty disappointed that this is the bullshit that they're coming up with if i could get a pie and throw it in gary Gensler's face i want to let you guys know i would do it 110 percent but i digress guys on to the next one next story here let's talk about the government let's talk about what's going on here on the big stage here okay we have house oversight committee looking into jared kushner's relationship with the saudis now this is very interesting why why would they be looking into Jared Kushner's relationship with the Saudis? Well, when $2 billion is involved after you leave the White House, people start asking a few questions. It's weird how that would happen, but is there going to be any legal implications? Probably not. Don't hold your breath. Jared Kushner's cozy relationship with the Saudi Arabia has long drawn scrutiny. Now it's the subject of House investigation. House Oversight Committee Chair Rep Carolyn Maloney on Thursday sent a letter to Kushner seeking information about a $2 billion investment the Saudi government made into Kushner's brand new investment firm just six months after he left the White House. Now, it's well known. People go in the White House, they don't get paid big bucks. But they do get a certain, I don't know, a certain lift. Uh, they get a certain bar raise. They get a certain pay grade once they leave the White House, right? You have presidents that go there that write books. Everyone does it. It's not a huge deal. They come fans because of the president. They, they cash on the way out. Now, if you're working for the government and you're working for the people and you're negotiating things for your exit of the White House before you leave, and then when you leave, you get paid out in ways of investment firm investments or several other things it should be questioned that things that you're doing while you're actually in the house may not have been for the people or may not have been for the best interest of who you're supposed to be working for guys on to the next story here my favorite people nancy pelosi how's it going honey how you doing now this is the funny thing i saw the story about nancy pelosi's husband getting caught for drinking and driving and you know what i said to myself i said no I said, TMI, we're not going to do this. We're not going to stoop to the level of every other YouTube channel, mainstream media source. This has nothing to do with finance. This has nothing to do with the retail investors out there. This has nothing to do with anything that you should be speaking about. Don't touch it. Then I woke up this morning and I said, fuck it. So I'm just going to put this out there as a little bit of a, um, of a catalyst, okay? I want to put a little thought out there ahead of time. Early. The lawyers from Nancy Pelosi's husband came out and said, hey, his blood level was 0.08. He did not do too much. He bumped into a few fences. He was out by his vineyard. He came from a venue where he saw a Snoop Dogg concert. To me, you just left the venue when you went to a Snoop Dogg concert. Even if you don't smoke, you're still high. Contact high. You're in the area. You are high as a kite. So we have to talk about that later. We will get into that later. I'm sure the reports will come out that, oh, we saw him smoking that night. I'm, I'm, it's going to come. It's going to come. But the second thing is this. Where was the old girl? She wasn't there. The lawyer also said he was in his car alone. I'm telling you guys, the stories will come out somebody saw something when he got into an accident there was somebody else in the car with him and i don't know this i'm just saying this now so i can pull up this clip later trust me bro i got you guys all right on to the next one guys tesla 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 elon musk baby what are you doing tesla monitors employees on facebook with the help of pr firm during 2017 union push now several people out there guys hey they had to know they had to know that elon musk was going to keep an eye on them but the comparison i want to make from elon musk and tesla from their employees and unions is for you guys each individual individual currently watching right now. Social listening is real. I used to work in marketing. I used to help collect data and sell to clients based off of social media. Social listening is real. So here's a clear example. A few years back in my second job out of college, there was, I was working for a media agency and they got called into a Google Home, okay? And this is when Google Home was actually starting to roll out their different Google Home electronics, right? Where they start to answer and speak to you based on your questions. There was one Google Home that was in the kitchen. There was another Google Home that was in the living room. And when somebody walked in the middle between the two different rooms and asked the same question, they got two different 
different answers from the Google Homes. And when the agency went to Google and said, hey, why do your machines have two different answers based off of the same question? Google responded to the agency that I used to work for and said, because Google's learning and Google's adapting. So the one in the kitchen adapted to that kind of conversation and the one in the living room adapted to that kind of conversation. Now, if Google itself is listening and learning based off of the audio, can you imagine what social apps that are engineered by humans are also doing to you on an everyday basis? This does not shock me whatsoever that Elon Musk and Tesla were listening to their audience on social media. We all get time to social media. We all scroll through, scroll through, scroll through, scroll through and press accept without exception. So when you guys are out and about, this is why I wore the mask in the first place and create a completely different uh, platform because I knew if I did it on my platforms, I would be found out. People would be listening. People would know what the hell is happening on my old company and the upper management. It's just how it works. Okay. So if you guys want to do anything, that's not exactly what your company wants you to do. Different platform, different profile, different cell phone. Make sure you guys are aware of the fact that they are listening. They might not let you know, but they are listening. I'm going to stop right there for a second. I think we're going to leave it here, guys. I do want to say really, really, really quickly, guys, this is the end of the week. It is Friday. We're not going to go over any more stories. I want to get right into the market, but I do want you guys to know, thank you guys very much for the ongoing support. This was, it wasn't a nerve wracking week, but it was kind of a nerve wracking week. Mask off after being mask on for the last year and a half. I appreciate the support, guys. We also did pass 32,000 subscribers for the Team My Live channel. So if you guys don't subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. It's okay. There are enough people out there supporting the channel and, you know, jumping in here every single day. And I do appreciate it a lot. If you guys have not yet, of course, engage this video, smash the like button. Thank <laughs> you.